2012 was the year of the Big Four. While Djokovic, Nadal, and Federer continued to dominate tennis in 2012, Andy Murray capitalized in critical moments, making this year the peak of the Big Four era. In Australia, Djokovic defeated Nadal in the longest major singles final of the Open era. But the King of Clay got revenge in the French, claiming his record-breaking seventh French Open title in a rematch with Djokovic. Wimbledon featured a vintage performance by Federer, with the Swiss maestro defeating Murray in the final, tying the Wimbledon record of seven titles. As an Olympic year, an extra big event was available to be claimed, and Murray capitalized, taking the gold over Federer in a Wimbledon rematch. In the final Grand Slam of the year, Murray matched up with Djokovic in the US Open final, winning a tight five-set match to claim his first major title. Across the majors, every final was a matchup between two of the big four, and only four of 16 total semifinalists were not one of these four players. So with this consistent performance from all four of these men, it really seems that